things you must do first, the drawing area. This is something that I like to explain at the beginning because a lot of times people will open up Revit and start drawing a wall. You know, they'll start drawing maybe a floor plan just to test it out. And they start drawing, sort of thinking, okay, I'll draw my house this big, without realizing that's 150 feet, you know, 150 some odd feet. Or in the metric template, it's 40 meters approximately. That's a big area for you to start to draw in. You can see the kitchen addition that we're going to be working on throughout this project. It's small. It's only 17 by 10. And you can see how small it is there. So that just gives you an idea what your starting point is. And now I wanted to explain what these things are. You know, you see them right from the beginning in the template, and you're like, what are those things? Those are elevation markers. And I'm going to zoom into one. I'm just going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse, and I'm going to put my cursor over top of one and start rolling the scroll wheel forward to zoom in. And then I'm going to press down the scroll wheel, and that will pan my view. So now I can see this a little bit better. So what is this? Well, you've got the body of the elevation marker and that little dash. It's a dash now, but if the view that this is associated with was dropped onto a sheet, this would populate with the sheet. This one right here would populate with the detail number. The triangle part is the actual elevation. It's pointing at the, whatever it is that we're looking at. Now, an important thing about this as well, you may have noticed when I click on the triangle, there's a blue line. Those are the extents of what you're looking at. We will go more in depth on these physical little elevation markers, how to change them a little bit, how to choose different ones. I want to focus on what they are and knowing what this blue line is as well when you click on the triangle piece. So what are these elevation markers? Well, they are what they say to be. They define elevations. So this one right here, for instance, that's the views elevation north. So if I go into my project browser and I just scroll down here, and I'm going to look for north, elevations north. If I double click on that, that's exactly what I'm looking at is that elevation north. In our project browser, let's go back to floor plans level one, and let's zoom out a little bit. So you'll notice here that the elevation markers, they're sort of offset from what it is we're going to be working on. So let's fix that. Now, I'm going to do something wrong just to illustrate what you can do wrong right at the beginning. Let me just click on that and let me use just the press and drag. So I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and just drag my mouse over just up to where I want it to be. Now, it looks fine, but if I were to just zoom in and hover or just click on that triangle where is the blue line i'm going to just roll my wheel out so i'm rolling the scroll wheel back notice what we've got here that's the line where it's taking the elevation so if we had some walls there or something like that we may think the elevation marker is in the right place but this is in a completely different place so we want to make sure that we do this correctly so let's go to the undo button in the quick access toolbar and let's just drop that down and pick drag. That was the last thing we did. So I'm going to just do a crossing window. That means I'm clicking and holding with my left mouse button and then I'm letting go. Now I'm going to just drag that. So dragging means you click and hold on the left mouse button and you just let go. Now that elevation marker is there. If I zoom in, again, I'm going to use the scroll wheel and just roll forward. Let me click on that little triangle and then let me roll out. Notice what we've got here. This line is defining where the elevation is. So that's right. So let's do this with the rest of them. I'm just going to click, drag, let go. Now click, drag, let go. I'm going to do the same. I'm not going from the left to the right. I'm going from the right to the left. So you're always going from the right to the left in order to pick these elevation markers. And then click, hold down, let go. Select, click, hold down, let go. So now our elevation markers are a little bit more concise to our building or where our building is proposed to be.